Good morning. Today is May 25th, 2011. This is Hurricane Cities with an update on your severe weather forecast for June and your tropical weather outlook for this upcoming hurricane season. And let's start off first beginning with our severe weather. Over the last several weeks we've been having some very violent tornado activity in the central part of the country and I anticipate that we're going to have a repeat of that through June where we have circled in red that's where I expect the more violent tornadoes will occur that's EF3 or greater and that will take place in the red circle along with that I'm going to add in to straight line wind damage and I'll go over that with you in just a moment but what's causing all this is the cold air coming out of the north and you have the dry desert air coming out of the west and then you have the humid Gulf air moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico all colliding and gelling right there in that area and when you have these squall lines forming in this region you have this dry air pushing up back behind it and it's causing dry slots to occur and that's causing some straight line wind damage to develop and these storms begin to bow and they have the bow echoes and very strong intense lines occur and it could cause a lot of straight line wind damage anywhere from 60 to 70 mile per hour in that region now outside of that red circle they have a black circle I expect straight line wind damage, large hail, flooding, and of course um, a potential of moderate tornadoes anywhere from a, an EF1 or greater up to a 3 in that region as well. So this, the violent severe weather that we've been having in the last several weeks I expect to continue through June with this same pattern taking place. Now going into the tropics, I'm looking at the tropics at the water temperatures in the Caribbean and the Atlantic and they're very unusually warm for this time of the year. They're in the mid and upper 80s and that's very warm for this time of the year. We're also hinting uh, looking at a uh, possibility of low sh wind shears because of the cooler waters in the Pacific and we're in a normal phase with the El Nino pattern uh, normal phase and I expect that to hold on to at least the midpoint of the hurricane season up until about August at that point it's a possibility that the waters will warm and we'll go into a more of an El Nino phase toward the late season and it could possibly put a cap on it and hold off the tropical cyclones for the end of the season but I'm looking at an early season for hurricane development and they're going to develop pretty rapidly because of the very warm waters that we have currently and we're anticipating low wind shear so if that takes place, the tracks will be anywhere from the northwest Caribbean into the north central Gulf of Mexico from the Louisiana coastline to the Florida Panhandle. And then I have uh, an arrow dra drawn there. It's not a point of per se where I expect it to hit landfall. I know I have it there in the Mississippi-Alabama line but I'm looking at anywhere between where the yellow is from the southeast Louisiana coast to the Florida Panhandle could be impacted by a fairly intense hurricane this year anywhere from a cat 3 or 4 not really looking at no cat 5 prediction but a 3 or 4 is, is pretty much what I'm looking at and over in the Atlantic expecting something to come out of the Eastern Caribbean move across the Atlantic into the north to the north west and push up into the Carolinas and taking the track more up along the eastern seaboard because of a dominant large high pressure system that we're expecting to hold in for this summer 
it's going to be a huge Atlantic high that's going to uh, be dominant this year for the tropical Atlantic. So that's my predictions. Uh, hopefully uh, they won't come true, but uh, nevertheless, that is my predictions. And to get full details on all the tropics this year, tune in to our hurricane website at hurricanecities.com. Also, visit us for our kickoff show for the hurricane season, which will be June the 1st at 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Thanks for joining us this morning and have a great day. This is Lewis for Hurricane Cities.